which obviously a, a tough way to lose that one there late at the end. Um, you, you've been talking to us about shot selection now with Caleb and RJ for, for a couple of weeks, but again, tonight, just a sort of brutal night efficient efficiency wise shooting for them. Is there something that's not getting through or, or what do you sort of make of that situation? Uh, you know, it's hard to say. I think you start pointing fingers at one or two players. I think it hurts your team. Uh, everybody knows we've got to do a better job of uh, uh, getting shots, but you know, they were three for 14, five for 14. So, so was Garrison Brooks, five for 14. Uh, so it is something that we've got to shoot the ball better. We've got to take a better job of our shot selection. Uh, I think when we got it to one point game, about two or three in a row, we took bad shots and, you know, you can't do those kind of things. And, uh, you know, state, we've been, uh, um, hammering them pretty good for several years. They're tired of that. And uh, I think the difference in the game to me was their sense of urgency early in the game. Uh, the first 10, 12, 14 minutes, their sense of urgency was greater than ours. They shot 70%, uh, uh, got every rebound when they did miss a shot. And so all of a sudden it's 12, 14, I don't know how many we were down, but uh, then Walker Kessler came in and didn't take a shot and got us back in the game. And uh, so, yeah, we've got to do a better job and our guards, uh, uh, was that eight for 28, that hurts. Uh, but again, a senior, Garrison was five for 14. And uh, so it's not just the, uh, the two young guys. Thank you. CL. Hey, uh, Roy, this is going to sound crazy uh, for me to ask, but did you feel like at all, considering how much you love to play fast, did, did, did the pace kind of get out of control for you guys early in the game, allowing them to get out to that lead? Like, were they, were they at all, I don't know if rattled is the word, but yeah. were they all out of sorts by the pace? Uh, you know, I, don't, I, I wouldn't think so, CL. I can look at the tape and tell you later what I was, uh, saw. But to me, you got to play the screen on the ball the way we practice every day, and we didn't do that at all. And then all of a sudden they're getting open shots and a guy comes off the bench and he makes one three, then I'd go out and guard him. So he makes another three and then we uh, give him another three. And uh, so I don't think it was the pace of the game. It was again, our sense of urgency and our mental, uh, uh, how sharp we were mentally just was not in. I don't think it was the pace of the game. And I'll tell the guys that one of the reporters asked, so that way I get, gives me another reason to run the crap out of them. Andrew Jones. Hey, uh, Coach, Armando was out for a stretch in the second half. It looked like Doug was attending to him over there on the sideline. What happened there and how big, I must have hurt you to have him out as long a stretch as it was. I, I knew he was talking to him, but I don't know what it was. I was trying to coach the guys that were in the game, Andrew, and uh, uh, I, I'm not sure, but you know, Think about it, when Armando's going out, Dayron's come in and done a great job. Walker came in and done a great job today. So uh, Armando's stats look better than anybody else because he's seven for nine, but uh, he's he's having a heck of a year for us. And uh, But I, I don't know that it was anything particular. Okay, thank Adam you. Smith. Adam Smith. Roy, I was going to ask you about what, what you didn't like about your defense in the first half, but you said sense of urgency, the way you played the ball screen. Did you feel like those factors that worked against you allowed State to sort of get some confidence going and really settle into the game and, and feel good about themselves? Yeah, I think that was big. Uh, you know, if a guy makes his first one, he's wide open, and he's wide open again on his second one. He's more confident on that. But I do think our sense of urgency on the defensive end, on getting the backboard covered and boxing out, picking up a loose balls. I mean, guys, you can't continue to do that the whole game. And so I'd say those two things, as you said, the, our screen on the ball wasn't very good, and then we didn't have any sense of urgency to go out and play that guy. Uh, you know, one of them, I said, Walker Kessler changed the game. The last four minutes, he came out and challenged a shot at the three-point line. And so we've got to have a greater sense of urgency. And then the other thing is just uh, – paying attention to the details of what we're talking about in the scouting report. And Roy Williams has got to do a better job today. Their staff, or no, not their staff, their head coach did a heck of a lot better job than Roy Williams did. we got time for one or two more, maybe uh, Josh Graham. Speaking of their coach, what can you give us some clarity what exactly was happening at around the under four timeout when you were yelling? I think, I don't know if it was at um, Ted or Sinai, but you were clear, it seemed you were unhappy with the coaching box and you were also in the corner there on that next possession. 
I was extremely unhappy, and that's all I'm going to say because I want to try to go through the proper, proper channels. That didn't beat us, guys. That didn't beat us. The referees did a much better job than I did. Last one, Luke. Coach, you mentioned Walker Kessler in your opening remarks. What did you like out of his play tonight, and what are the biggest barriers he needs to overcome in order to get more playing time and, and break into more, more minutes? Well, he played 12 minutes tonight, and he was very important to us. Luke May's freshman year, there were 11 games that he never got in the game. And I'm not that interested in people's playing time. Uh, we have Armando, we have Garrison, we have uh, Dayron, and we have Walker. We're very fortunate. And uh, if the game was 400 minutes long, everybody would get to play 100 minutes. But Walker's effort, his enthusiasm, and his efforts what uh, changed the game the last uh, four or five minutes of the first half.